Good morning, Calvary. How's everyone doing this morning? It's great to see you here today. Let's take a look at what's going on around here. We've got a lot going on leading up to Christmas. Once again, Calvary will have a float in the Mount Airy Christmas Parade on Saturday, December 7th. The parade starts at 6.30 p.m. For more information, or if you'd like to participate in the parade, please contact Gabe Hare. On December 8th, we will have our Christmas cantata. This year's cantata is The Ballad of Bethlehem, A Timeless Story of God's Love by Pepper Choplin. It will take place during the 11 a.m. service on that Sunday and will include Holy Communion. Um, December 14th is the date for our annual German Christmas service. Please come and join us for a traditional German language worship service, including music by our Calvary Brass. A reception featuring German cookies and other delectables will follow. The following week, December 15th, will be the Calvary Community Christmas Program. Come and enjoy our joyful celebration featuring a wonderful children's play and beautiful musical accompaniment. It's a perfect way to embrace the true spirit of Christmas and create lasting memories with our community. It will take place at 4 p.m. and a reception will follow. On Thursday, December 19th, we will hold our annual Blue Christmas worship service. Not everyone is able to embrace wholeheartedly the spirit of the holiday season. Those whose hearts are heavy with grief or depression can feel disconnected from the joyful holiday spirit around them. And so we offer a special Blue Christmas. It's a chance to allow ourselves space for our feelings and welcome the comfort God gives us through the gospel of Jesus' birth among us. We still have slots available for gifts for the angel tree. Please talk to Kim Smithson about the gifts that are left. Those gifts are due on December 8th. If you're providing gifts for Springfield Hospital, those gifts are due on December 15th. You know, the most effective way to grow a church is to have members who invite others to worship with them. I know that it's not always the easiest thing to do for some of us, so we've got something to make it a little easier. We've got these cards. On one side, it lists all the holiday activities that we've got coming up. And on the other side are the dates and times for our various worship services, including the cantata, Blue Christmas, the German Christmas service, and our worship times for Christmas Eve. They're available in the entryway. Take a bunch with you and start handing them out. Remember that our next First Monday class will be tomorrow, December 2nd. It's a great opportunity to reconnect with your faith and take it deeper as we study the Bible and Luther's Catechism. The class starts at 6 p.m. and includes a light supper of soup and bread. Reading and connecting with an Advent devotional is one way to prepare our hearts for celebrating the birth of Christ. This practice also reminds us of the love, hope, joy, and peace of knowing Jesus. We have two devotions available for this Advent season. Words for the Beginning is a booklet for adults and youth. Each week offers a poetry prayer, hymn, commentary on a scripture passage, and two reflections with beautiful artwork. We also have the Family Advent Guide. The Family Advent Guide has one page per week for families with children. Each page has a Bible verse with reflection questions, as well as an idea for a family activity. We encourage you to journey along with us this Advent. May you find belovedness and hope in these days. That's everything for today. Thank you so much for being with us today, and may God bless us in our time together. May you be a blessing to those around you this week. And we'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye. <laughs>